Smoke's building, Borade planes are flying, helicopters are flying. Let's see how this turns out for us. Hopefully the wind keeps blowing to the other way. There's always highs and there's always lows and it seems like the lows make the highs that much better. It's just unbelievable, man. That. First time I've had a bow in my hand in you know, three, four years. I'm supposed to have some fun. Your name, amen. Amen. Your sensibilities, all the rules that make a society want to misbehave, want to set you free. Thank you, brother. <laughs> it's just the team of guys that we have is just pretty epic. If there's any way that we can inspire people to enjoy the outdoors and hunting and anything like that, that's at the top of the list for me. Little Topo Chico! <laughs> Man, I thought I had a lot of stuff and then Chase showed up. <laughs> Joking. <laughs> he had like two little totes and I had bags and totes and all this stuff. But uh, we're on the road. We're eastbound and down. Uh, we're gonna meet, hopefully, I don't know, we might be an hour behind Trent and Noah or we might be an hour ahead. Tough to say. But we got bikes loaded down, trailers. Um, hopefully the Timberlands open sooner than later and we can go do that. But I get a hook up with a buddy of mine and, and uh, we're gonna go chase some bulls. He's got a tag, I got a tag. And uh, yeah, his name's Verlin Savage and he is an absolute savage. So super excited, never got to hunt with him, but known him for about 10 years and um, he's a phenomenal elk caller. So I'm anxious to see and learn and go have fun. Guys, we made the trek over. Blessed to hunt with Verlin Savage. I've known about 10 years, I think, was about when yeah. I met you on yeah. the film tour. And uh, he opened his house last night, and him and his wife had Chase and I stay there. It was just a, just a great experience. So I've always yeah. admired you as a hunter. And when Strand made the connection, that, hey, Verlin said, come on over. So we're here. This is. On Instagram, what, Elk Savage, right? Yeah, Elk.Savage. Elk.Savage. Yeah, I'm just excited to spend some time in the woods with you. That's legit. That's, that's about as good as it gets.
Great day. Got on, we heard two bulls this morning and got close on that one and gave us a slip. This afternoon drew a, drew a blank, but we got a lot of country and a, a lot of fun times left ahead, right, Berlin? Oh yeah. <laughs> Every day. Every day is a blessing. So I'm um, just going to scarf some Mountain House real quick. One of my favorites, Pasta Primavera. Threw a little uh, chicken bouillon cube, cube in there. Spice it up a little bit. Get some salt back in me. And um, Anyways, we're gonna just sleep here at the trucks tonight. Get up early in the dark and drop off this and head all the way across this basin. So, fingers crossed, we, it was quiet tonight. Didn't hear anything, didn't see much for sign on here. So, hopefully they're on that other side of the mountain, right? Yeah. I think on Chase's toad it says, what does it say? Guess who will hate this food in 30 days? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, we're on day three and I'm like, mm, need a bar for breakfast again. <laughs> oh, I'm still a little sleepy, but uh, great news. Got a somewhere message from my wife last night. Two bulls died. Guess who? Wyatt killed his first bull. We just got a bull. We just... <laughs> And Steve and Trevor killed a bull last night. Separate deals. Wyatt, I think, was with his buddy, so pretty cool to go out on his own and maybe take some of the things that we taught him and 
apply it and make it happen. It's pretty awesome. So Wyatt, man, I love you. Congrats. I'm so pumped for you. Steve, Trevor, you guys are beasts. Wish I was there for you. So, uh, didn't hear any bugles last night uh, when I was sleeping or awake when I was sleeping. So, hopefully we can get one fired up and go hunt this big drainage. I have a good feeling. We'll find them. And once you gotta hold on me She's the warmth of the summer, the color of the spring She's the strongest wind, the calmest breeze and once you got a hold on me That girl, she's like the finest wine She'll give you a taste if you give her We just made a six and a half mile loop back to camp It's 11.30 Literally just uh, sat down here in the cooler and there to be able to down at the bottom where We're, uh, we've been in the great debate if Doug Flutie is Flutie us or if we're gonna Flutie Doug the bull. <laughs> Mixed reviews, but we've sat around talked about it long enough, so we're gonna drop back in there and see what we can turn up. Good conversation with Merlin, though. It's been a great afternoon. Nothing to do with elk hunting, but it's a great afternoon. Smoke's building, buried planes are flying, helicopters are flying. Let's see how this turns out for us. Hopefully the wind keeps blowing to the other way. We didn't get Doug floating. We got Bob floating. <laughs> Pretty sure we dropped in and off the top for a uh, hundred. There was fresh boot tracks in the trail, which there was not this morning. It just was sporadic enough and not enough bugling to say, oh, yep, that's a hunter for sure, where I would have thought. I think they because they couldn't hear us because they were in the creek is why they didn't scream back and forth. That's my theory. I'm sticking to it. They were walking right in the creek. You can't hear anything. We could hear them. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. A little evening reconnaissance, right? That's right. See what's happening on the other side of the mountain. Friend of mine killed some bulls up here. Tomorrow's gonna be a. It's gonna be doozy. Yeah. It's gonna be hot. Bulls screaming. Bloody arrows. Big smiles. All that's happening tomorrow. Yeah, we're gonna eat. Get some rest, fueled up for the morning. Cause we're going on. <laughs> right over by ants. <laughs> oh, you had ants? Just... Yeah, ants. <laughs> ants. Well, good morning to Channel 5 News. Breaking news, it is 77 degrees before daylight. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's hot though. Now I see why Trent always wears these shirts. I feel kind of like bare though, like set up for a bowl. I just, I'm, I don't really like the short sleeves, but I'm going with it because it's going to be hot today. I just heard the story about Trevor's bull or Steve's bull with Trevor. Sounds pretty epic. Can't wait to see the footage. Can't wait to hear more about it, but 15 yards sounds pretty, pretty rad. He got it with the old, uh, the new secret call. So, anyways, um, I think it's about time we're gonna head off the mountain. We're gonna hunt this face. I sure didn't hear any bugles last night. 
which is kind of a bummer, but it only takes one. We're going to go find him and kill him. The one's out. 300 or bigger, he says. So he's got a lot of season left. He's killed a lot of bulls, so he's looking for a good one. Hopefully we can do our part and call one in for him. So you found it, so I'll, I'll find your match. Appreciate, appreciate your effort uh, of uh, hunting with us and waiting up for us. You're coming climbing out of there. <laughs> With you. Yeah. What's up? How are you? We made it up the mountain, barely, not really, but anyways, joining my good friend Anthony. What's up, guys? Mr. Sig himself. Mr. Sig, not Mr. Sig. <laughs> <laughs> not, not to be. Confused. Now that's Ron Cohen. <laughs> <laughs> not confused. With What's your actual Uncle type? Ron. Uh, uh, product manager for observation and uh, lights and lasers. Which was in essence a sophisticated heat beam which we called a laser. Lights observation. and lasers. So observation. So optics. Optics. So binos. Glass, binos. Binos yeah. and spotting scopes. Yeah. So. Real, real tactical name there. Observation. We yeah. observe. We observe. <laughs> we observe from the so, sky. We're going to go kill a bull tonight. <laughs> Just telling these guys, I think my head was a little downhill because it feels like it's full of blood right now because it's pounding. <laughs> oh. Hold on, can't think straight till I make a cup of coffee. Whose idea was it for 4:30 a.m. wake up call? This guy. Oh, that guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'll blame you on it. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little tired this morning. I'll be okay after I get this cup of joe. We're debating we might bivy out tonight, so we're gonna go check out this spot and see if there's a bunch of people in there, or if it's have it to ourselves, if, to ourselves, we'll throw a sleeping bag stove and mountain house in there and whew, take off, get in there. Much cooler this morning, I don't know, it's probably, maybe, should I dare say 40s? I don't think it's 40s. No, okay. 49? Maybe. I'll give you that. 50 degrees, okay. So, uh, we got a little bit of a drive, so we're gonna drop the old AT down and throw all the stuff, coolers back in here and hit the dusty trail. Load it up. Kinda excited. Haven't done an overnighter in a little way, a couple days. So, we're gonna go in for just one night, Anthony's gotta hit the road tomorrow. We gotta go join up with Strand and Tran on Carry the Two Tuesday. So we'll probably go find camp tomorrow night. And uh, anyways, feeling good. There's a horse trailer and another truck here at the trailhead. Kind of two different directions. Who knows where they're at. We'll just start slowly marking our way up as basin goes for quite a little ways. There's another access near the top end of it, but we'll just hunt our way through, get a full screen. And just call one in for Anthony, broadside 18 yards, looking the other way. Well, we found 
the Taj Mahal fortress tree stand. They carpeted it so they could move silently. Brand new rub right there, so it was a pretty good spot. And as we were sitting here looking at this, we just pretty sure our ball bugle down here below us. There's a fresh rub. For sure, that's a bull. <laughs> that's a bull. This is like I woke up this morning. Like, All right, All right. Chili. It's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be real good. Let's go get him. Let's go get him. This, I'm, this is like Zach from THP. Like, let, let's go get him. Come on, boys. Let's go. Fired up. Fired up. Fired up. You're gonna get a dance from me, and I just. We got bamboozled. I mean, there was a bull, but it sounds like there was two other groups hunting the same bull. What we thought was three bulls. It was one bull. Doug and Bob Flutie. Or Doug and his brother, or cousin Dick. We could go. Cousin Dick. <laughs> cousin Dick. <laughs> What's the guy's? I feel like we got Finkel, Ray Finkel. Yeah. From uh, Ace Ventura. Finkel and Einhorn. Finkel. Finkel and Einhorn. Einhorn and Finkel. Finkel is Einhorn. Einhorn is Finkel. Ugh. <laughs> the old gravity bag. My little trick. <laughs> Poked a hole in the platypus. Hang it from a limb. This goes down. Quick disconnect. Right in there. <laughs> Works like a charm. Chase is like, where did you get that? Did you buy it? Yes. Yes, I bought it. Uh, we've had an exciting morning, followed by a little letdown, seeing some other hunters and hearing more hunters. Climbed up here. Looks like the elk mecca. There's lots of sign. Hopes are high this afternoon. We're gonna fire one up. Get a little bedded bugle just and then we're gonna slip in there, do a little nasty talk.
He'll just come in 18 yards broadside. Anthony will just go, no. Pass through. As I was walking up, I'm like, I'm gonna be sneaking through here in the sunspot, and all of a sudden, I'm just gonna see an elk whirl and take off. All we need is was one bugle, one just. I I heard. I heard the hollow sound. Hey, there's bulls. There's bulls. Exactly. We, there's bulls. we bumped elk. We were we we're in them, boys. We're in them, boys. We're in them, boys. We're in them. We saw one. Good. Posture Primavera again. <laughs> <laughs> Got a lot of choices in my back of my truck. Dude, such an awesome night. Like, went through that burn and it was not fun. Um, we only had two falls, or both soft falls. Yeah. No fall. Yeah, it went down on my back like a turtle. Turtle, turtle, <laughs> turtle, turtle. <laughs> <laughs> I had an awesome day. Just didn't kill an elk, didn't even get close, really. I mean, it's gotta see one. Nice bull running away at a high rate of speed. I thought he only saw us, but I think he smelt us, because, yeah, yeah, he, there was no. But I, it was one of those, I should have trusted my gut because I had called. I thought I heard this, like that hollow called hoof. You did. And I'm like, man, I thought I heard something. And literally, as I'm taking like 10 steps, I'm like, I know what's gonna happen. I'm just gonna be doo 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 walking along, and the bull's gonna look at me and take off running. And that's about what happened. Yep. And uh, such is life. If he would have gave away his position, would have been a totally different story. We could act. Yards. You yeah, he was 60 yards. Yeah, yeah, 50, 60 yards when we took off. But. Um, I was surprised you didn't have like a. A rope and just roped him and <laughs> got him by his hind legs, tied him up. <laughs> Is that oh. in your bag oh, of tools? Yeah, rodeo, <laughs> rodeo Anthony here. Uh, gonna eat some dinner, crawl in the baby sacks. The sunset is just glowing right now. It is just brilliant orange. It was worth the climb to get. Yeah, we've been in the timber all day. And I was going to camp on this ridge over there, and it was terrible. And I'm like, let's do it. And we all got water and, yeah. and suffered the suck fest. And got, got a little, a little bird bath down at the stream, oh, too. Yeah. That felt good. Yeah, but it didn't last more than like <laughs> 10 minutes because I was <laughs> ripping sweat. <laughs> so, anyways, appreciate you guys following along today. Just another day of bow hiking here in the Born and Raised channel. If you have any suggestions of how to kill elk or any Onyx waypoints, you can just send them on over. Because <laughs> it's been a rough week. Yeah. Rough week. We, we've seen elk. Though. We've seen elk. We're hurt. We heard, 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 we heard a bugle. We're in them, boys. We're in them. In them. In, in them to win them. Shake and, and bake. <laughs> This is the uh, silent basin, as in the only thing I heard last night with deer coming into bed where we were sleeping, bound off. Other than that, so pretty rough, but uh, 
just been a nice little morning. Usually by now we're just sweaty and climbing, trying to make some ground away from the road, and we're way back in here. So we're just kind of enjoying it, soaking it all in, doing Trevor proud, getting my flossing in, getting the sweaters off my teeth. I forgot my toothbrush. <laughs> so, um, I think it's kind of a change of plans. I uh, got a text last night from Strand. He's coming over tomorrow, so we're gonna meet up with him, probably go find a camp uh, tonight. And then uh, it sounds like Trent and Noah are actually headed back to the coast. They're gonna cut up Wyatt's bull and then maybe try to kill a bull for Noah in the swamp because uh, another part of the state's still not open due to fire danger. So we're kind of waiting on that so we can divide and conquer and go kill a bunch of bulls. So. Just going with the flow. I think this is day 10 of season, so it's uh, a third over, which is kind of sad, but exciting too. I miss my family already pretty bad, <laughs> just being honest. Um, so we're gonna go find you guys a bowl, get one fired up. Just bad. <laughs> again by the cows and not cow elk moo the moo kind black angus black angus cows oh, they taste good they taste good now i really have to get hamburgers on the next to the next one on to the next so guys the cool thing about doing what we were able to do and travel around and hunt different countries as we meet some amazing people and today that happened. Uh, huge thanks to Brandon and Kayleen for bringing us into their camp, treating us like family. Um, yeah, it was just, it was an amazing experience. I uh, got to see his daughter Cage's video, um, big shout out. It was pretty cool to see that young bow hunter uh, killing, her, killing her first elk. But um, yeah, we got some calls gonna leave back at their truck and uh, hopefully it finds them some well wishes and good luck in the future but Brandon and Kayleen appreciate you for everything and uh, just bringing us in treating us like family and friends so hopefully uh, we'll get to stay in touch and see you again next year or later this season maybe who knows but uh, I just appreciate you and everything you're doing up here so let's go hide some calls Well, Merry Christmas, everybody. I will be the first out of everybody to say it, so you can tell your families. <laughs> Christmas is over. Yeah. You're a day late. Now yes. it's You're now one day late. late. Now one day late. Happy New Year coming up. Yeah, yeah. I hope you guys have a great New Year. Um, kids, don't burn yourself with the fireworks. No, um, so. <laughs> That's 4th of July. <laughs> yeah. Dude, New Year's is always off. fireworks. Am I wrong? Leave a comment. Myrtle Creek Thank Truck you. Parade fireworks. <laughs> always <laughs> fireworks. <laughs> always. <laughs> Anyway, so Cody, let's do a hunt recap. Guys, we got a bunch to go through on, not a bunch, but we've got some big winners to go through on this uncut. So stay tuned, at least, or fast forward through all of our talking to get Whoa. to where we can mention your name to win a bow. Oh, and the Black Bear Friday. And the Black Bear Friday. We're doing both? 100%. Whoa. Yeah. 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 This is the big so, one. Uh, it was a cool week in the elk woods. Honestly, uh, I'd always heard about Berlin Savage. Got to meet him actually when I had full draw like back in 2012 or something. And he's like the elk legend of this part of the state in Idaho. And 
and uh, having the opportunity in like, hey, come hunt, it was really cool. I learned a bunch of stuff that week just on um, behavior. Like, he, he really broke it down into like early season, mid season, late season tactics. And it, like, the way he calls, the way he goes through the woods, all of that totally changes. Um, and the reason he found out about that, he's like, I kept notching my tags, and it was all like 22, 23, 24 between Oregon, Idaho. It was like, in a five day span, always the 20th to the 25th. And he's like, until I started realizing that I was doing the same thing in the early season and it wasn't working. And once I made that pivot, then I started killing bulls first week of season, second week of season. And it was it was really eye opening to me just how he went about things. And um, you know, it, it was awesome. It was great to experience that. We covered some awesome country. I can't remember, you remember Chase how old Berlin was? 60, he was, Holy in way better shape. <laughs> way better he shape. was a mountain goat. <laughs> like a couple times Chase and I were just like, oh my gosh, we're going down there and up that and over there. And it was all in a quick little morning hunt. I think uh, that I think that's a good point though. Like a lot of times, especially when we, we have we're blessed enough to be able to hunt most of the season, you get wrapped up on okay, let's just do the same thing over and over and over again. Whereas if you guys like, take a step back take a step back and look at it from a whole view of early season, mid season, late season tactics. Yeah. It's, it's pretty cool. Yeah, no, he definitely like focuses on wallows early season, mm -hmm. calling from the wallows, splashing in the wallows. There's he wasn't even really wanting us to give that information out because of, you just screwed that up. You know? We did. <laughs> there that goes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean it's definitely one it's to keep in. I think Berlin will do. <laughs> and had a great time with Anthony. Gotta spend some well we only got two days with Anthony but an overnight backpack trip and same deal, you know. We first elk I saw in seven days was running at a high rate of speed the other way, and just one of those trust your guts. Like I heard, I thought I heard hooves, and I'm like, eh. you know, when you're you're just into this repetitive mode, and I took ten steps, like literally I was walking. I'm like, I'm just gonna see this bull take off running, and that's exactly what happened. And so it's just one of those things. Like early season, slow it down, take your time. Um, but we had fun both times. It was a great, great, great episode of the season for us. Um, you guys were following along. Eric's hunt actually happened after this hunt. This was uh, the week, this was during the first week of season when this all went down. So it was really early season tactics, hot, dry conditions. We were excited when it broke 50 degrees in the morning. It was like 49 one morning. So really, really nice, cool temperatures. But yeah, it's a great time. I'm uh, super excited to try to get back out to uh, Berlin and Anthony both in the Outwoods. So that's great. Awesome hunt. Let's, um, yeah. Train you guys, well, you guys ready to get to what? The big reveal. reveal. The, the big reveal. The big reveal. And I already lost it, so give me a couple seconds here. <laughs> to be continued. Nope. That's, uh, that's Pandora. <laughs> Alabama, though. That's a good song. It is a good song. That's a good song. That's a good song. <laughs> That's a good song. Do you want it? These guys are professionals. Got it. Got it. Got it. These are pros. Where's your notebook? These are pros. Write this down. I got it all right here. Yeah, that's good stuff. Cellular phone. Steel traps. Cellular phone. All right. So what do we want to do first? Do we want to do, uh, let's do the Black Bear Friday. <clears throat> Black Bear Friday. Whatever. Yeah. The Black Bear tag winner is going to go last. How about that? Yep. So yeah. this whole series, guys, that you've already watched so far, and there is a bunch more coming. We have a ton more. Trevor might even kill an elk here shortly. He, yeah, stay tuned. It could happen. It could happen. It could happen. I don't know. But um, anyway, so we have a whole bunch more bow hunting to go. And um, But anyway, Hoyt has been awesome. They title sponsored the whole bow section of the Land of the Free. And so we are going to, Trevor's not a huge fan of this, but it's going to happen anyway. We're going to give away all of our bows. What? All of our bows. All of our bows are going. Oh, our bows are gone. Yours is too, yeah. Stephen. Wow. This just in. This just in. <laughs> they gone. <laughs> they gone. Wow. I thought it would be better. You know, kind of a surprise. Yeah, I appreciate that. Kind of a surprise. <laughs> yeah. Surprise. A surprise for you <laughs> and a surprise for us. Yes. Yeah, surprise. Okay. Well, either way. It's both, both ways a surprise. <laughs> so, and Strand is not here, obviously, but um, yeah, his is going too. <laughs> They're all gone. <laughs> they're all, they're yeah, gone. That's, good. that's yeah. a little bit painful, but yeah. Uh, okay. But uh, big shout out to Hoyt. Uh, they yeah. yeah, they've been awesome to us over the years. That's the only bow I think we've ever used ever. Yep. Hoyt. Yeah. 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 That's just they've been they've been great. So, all right, I'm gonna announce five winners right now. 
Sit on the edge of your couch. If your name starts with an S, stand up. Just joking. Just joking. <laughs> Just joking. You guys can do whatever you want. Do whatever you want. All right. So number one, uh, Stephen Talent, you won a bow. How are we gonna do this? There's a couple Stephen Talents. Um, and we've got two we'll verify two two right emails. I'm gonna verify <laughs> if, if Stephen Talent gets an email from me. You won a bow. <laughs> How about that? How about that? And second one. This is a weird name, a different name. Well, it's Not a weird spelling. Yeah. Trent Kyle. Wow. You got it? Okay, that was gonna be on me. <laughs> uh, Kyle like, Barker. All right, C-Y-L-E. C -Y -L -E. Okay, I was hey, gonna say Cody. <laughs> Oh, I'm not, we are not making fun of you in the league. Well, you just want to vote. I don't care. It doesn't matter. You just want to vote. You should reject. You should reject. All right. Third one. Gus Garretts. Am I good on, am I good good, on that? Yep. Got it. So. Gus Garretts. You want to vote. This next one's going to be a good pronunciation. This one we could be something I want Steve to do. Can we, I'm like, no post you got it. Apology. <laughs> Lewis Magenheimer. <laughs> That's not right. right. I think it's right. I think it's right. Lewis Magenheimer. Hey, we don't pick our last names. We don't pick our last names. Um, and the, last but not least, number five, Rob. 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 Rob Mc. Albany. 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 Rob McAlbany. Can we draw? Oh, wow. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> oh man. Um, okay. So those, all five of you guys, I will email all of you guys and get you all set up and get you guys your bows within the next six to eight months. So <laughs> I'm just wow. kidding. I'm just kidding. It's going to be sooner than that. Well, hopefully there's a least couple lefties in there. Want to That's what I was hoping. Was left -handed. I'm hoping there's a couple lefties. No, well, they get the bow and they can do with it what you want. So that the whole okay. thing is like, it's, cool. Yeah, with the bow, you can. It's the, it's the bows we use this season. It's yeah, all the bows we use yeah. to shoot. Cool. Yeah, yeah. And um, so then, yeah, it's the best. I would, you know, if it's Steve's or Trevor's or, well, Cody's, but I'm going to just, just sell them. <laughs> just sell them. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Whoa, whoa. whoa. <laughs> just saying. Um, all right. So the big, I guess the big reveal, right? Yeah. That's it. Black this, is this is six years old. We've had a blast in the last five seasons doing this trip. It's this one of has our been favorites. a fun trip. Yeah, and uh, it seems like every year it just is, keeps getting better. We're still yeah. giant. I mean, it's been they're it's being been great. pretty crazy. Yeah, last it's year been was pretty crazy. crazy. It's been fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah last been, year was Mervin. Really amazing. I, I've been yeah, seeing Mervin. Mervin's been comment on the flyway channel Love you, brother. and all that stuff. Yeah, uh, yeah, I just. And you said uh, the person who drew this hunt. Huh? Gets to bring a friend. They get to bring a friend, but what were their odds of winning? You said it was like 0.08% chance. 0.08% chance. So we actually equivalent this to uh, it's the same exact odds to draw a sheep tag in order. Yeah. Yeah. And that doesn't happen. Well, it's so it's impressive. Yet. It's no, impressive. we haven't yet. So no. I will tell you right now. Is it a coming guy? from Washington? Coming from Washington. If you live in. Wow. I ain't going to try to pronounce it. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff Savon, congratulations. <laughs> you won, buddy. Jeff, uh, yeah, I will get a hold of you and we will rig everything up. And Enum then, Claw? What's that? Enum Claw. Enum Claw? Enum Claw, Enum Claw Washington. Yeah. I think so, that's Western Washington. And that's our closest to home winter, I think. Yeah, yeah that we've had. Because so. uh, Mervin was from Ohio. Ohio. Yeah. Uh, so, anyway, Jeff, congratulations, buddy. I will get a hold of you and we will figure out all the logistics. How we can draw the tag? We've got some people with some points. We're gonna have to put in as a party. Oh, yeah. Anyway, we'll, yeah. we'll figure all that out. But uh, congratulations, Jeff! Cannot wait to meet you and the person that you choose to come out and go hunting. Cool. I think that wraps this Good. up. That's it. That's a ha Merry Christmas, belated, yeah, Merry Christmas and a Happy everybody. New Year's, yeah. you guys. Uh, He's safe out there. Yeah. Sure. We have a pile. Like I said, every we have bow stuff going into March um, for for that, and then we start in on our rifle stuff. And yeah. pretty amazing hunts this year. Yeah, a Coming lot here. to come up. Yeah. We have gotten a lot of good hunts. A lot of good stuff. A lot I, I of good would stuff. say 
arguably our best year, hands down. Hundred percent, hands down. Like, yeah, not, not even say. arguably. Like, yeah, yeah. It, it is. It was the best. It was an amazing, amazing year. And my son, Steve, will you go and grab that yes, little thing right there, real quick? Show the people. Hey, give them what they want. Yeah. Who else? Who, whoever has stayed this long in the video, why? Uh, he might be in the house, but anyway, or maybe he's with his girlfriend. But this is a black-tailed deer, believe it or not. <laughs> And it that may is a may giant not be fork and horn. State a record. state record. So for a fork and horn blacktail. So you will see this video as well uh, coming up. And pretty awesome. It's pretty awesome. So and by the time this video airs, we will actually know exactly if this is the state record. So pretty awesome. Wyatt, 16 years old, amazing hunt. Chase filmed the whole thing. It's going to be a doozy. So. Guys, thank you guys so much. Have a great New Year's. Be yeah. safe out there, and uh, we will see you next Monday. Appreciate you. Thanks, guys. That one, she got to hold on me. She's the warmth of the summer, the cold.